afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Got another diesel Class A motorhome that I wanted to get online. It's probably going to be late night tonight doing it. But um, this is a heck of a deal for somebody, guys. This is pretty much a pre-COVID price on this one. It does have some miles on it. But the price more than makes up for it. Today, guys, we're going to review a 2006 Fleetwood Discovery. And this is the model 39L. It is 39 feet long, four slides. It has a 330 Caterpillar turbo diesel in it, 330 horsepower. And uh, it's actually in good shape for the year model. It's got a couple little issues that I'll show you condition wise, but all in all guys, this is an incredible motor home and get this, it's 49.9, that's under $50,000 for a quad slide diesel motor home with full body paint. And that's something that you don't see every day in this market and an 06 model to boot. But uh, guys, it's a nice unit. Um, it's got a power awning. It's got all your slide toppers, got a door awning. Tires look great. Built on a Freightliner chassis. It has the uh, air brakes, air suspension. It's got the 7.2 Caterpillar turbo diesel C7 that's very dependable, one of the more dependable motor homes, motors out there for RVs. Hey guys, it's got a few miles on it and uh, it's got 135,000 miles. But anybody that knows anything about diesels, that's not really gonna scare you. Matter of fact, a lot of people can say the same thing too. The ride and drive a motorhome that's not been sitting for years at a time between use is three to one better than one that's been sitting and only used once or twice a year. So this is something that hasn't been sitting very long, very well cared for. You know, you got a few little cosmetic issues like this little stripe on the back, got a little paint fading right there. Uh, does have a 10,000 pound tow capacity hitch. No delamination. This thing's obviously been stored out of the weather when it hasn't been used. Look how bright and shiny that paint is in that finish. Has the hydraulic leveling jacks. It's got 50 amp electrical service. Got a 7,500 watt Onan diesel generator that runs great. It's got a few windows that, um, they're dual pane windows. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they're a little bit cloudy and that's caused by the seal in the uh, window where it's dry rotted over the years and it's laid oxygen in and it's kind of um, made them do that. And uh, I, I, I want to have somebody fix the one on the driver's seat, but because that's a safety issue, but guys, the other ones are, uh, they're just gonna be sold like that guys. You know, I'm trying to keep the price under 50 grand. so. Um, got a little bit of pitting right here on the chrome mirror, which is common on one that's been out on the road a lot. That's nothing unusual and strictly a cosmetic thing. This one's starting to pit and crack, but those velvet mirrors are bad about that when they get, well, this thing's 16 years old, guys. That's, that's nothing unusual. Um, we did have new carpet installed in it power platform which that is is a raised up floor so you have pass through storage without having a extremely tall roof let's look inside of course my carpet guys put the carpet in did a great job now with 135,000 miles the front seats do have a little more wear and tear than normal they are flex steel still good um you know it it's perfectly fine just like it is or you might want to put some covers on them I mean, they're dirt and certainly not worth recovering. And guys, I'm doing this really quick because I literally just got back to the lot. I've been on the road all day. I just got back to the lot 10 minutes ago. It's 545. We close in 15 minutes. I'm probably going to be here till 8 o'clock tonight uh, editing this video, putting it together. So I don't even have the air conditioner on, refrigerator on. I'm just kind of just shooting one just to have one on today, and, and this was the one I chose. Uh, I did just put a new recliner in here for you. Um, it's got a sleeper sofa. It's got one little tear right here where it looks like somebody sat down with a screwdriver or something in their pocket. 
and got that but other than that that's the only bad spot on it it does have a table booth that makes a bed and it's a quad slide so you've got two sets of opposing slides and give you a lot of room Corian countertops that look great. It's got solid hardwood cabinet, got the big refrigerator. Don't worry guys, we do guarantee the refrigerator, the slide outs, the uh, roof air conditioners, and generators to work just like they're supposed to. In fact, generator fires right up. I don't know why I didn't. I mean, it's running right now. That's how easy it is, guys. Uh, we did just install a brand new bank of house batteries too. So you got brand, four brand new six volt interstate batteries, um, which is several hundred dollars worth of batteries that we just put in uh, earlier today. So brand new batteries up here in the front, you've got a six speed Allison transmission. You've got the exhaust brake, engine retarder, auxiliary start button. You've got power visors on the front, 135,620 on the clock um air brakes got the backup camera up top you've got a tv original tv looks like you've got a vcr probably a dvd player it's got a 2000 watt inverter xantrix inverter 84 inch tall ceilings no sagging i mean the motorhome's been maintained guys no doubt about that uh, Corian countertops look great. I don't see any cracking. Never cooked in this thing, it doesn't look like. I don't even see the stovetop covers are not even broke. Huh. That's unusual for one with this many miles. Space maker oven, microwave convection oven. It's got a regular propane oven, got a four door, 18 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. They can run off propane or electric. Pantries. Slide out trays. Top and bottom. Got six of those. Uh, walk through bathroom. Got a that Corian as well. Yep. Solid surface countertop Corian. Medicine cabinet. Big shower. Yeah, and, and this is a sure sign that this thing has not spent a lot of time outside between uses because here's the thing, guys. Look how bright white this shower is. If this thing had been stored outside between uses, uh, the UV rays coming through that skylight will bleach, the, especially after 16 years, will bleach these shower walls and bottom a bright yellow. So it's pretty obvious when one has been stored outside and when it hasn't. And this one doesn't look like it has been. Not that that would hurt anything. You just want to make sure the roof maintenance was done properly in that case. Uh, here in the back, you've got, oh, let's show you the toilet closet real quick. It's got washer and dryer hookups too. It may have had one at one time, might have got removed because there's no shelves in there, but you know, that, that, there's no telling when that was done and if it ever had one. Uh, water closet, you got a sea land toilet, China, China RV toilet, uh, porcelain. Um, Fantastic vent fan. I don't see anything sagging down or anything like that. Headliners not peeling at the edges. So right there tells me this thing hasn't been cooped up in extremely hot and humid weather because that will make those headliner glue uh, cut loose and make the edges peel. Uh, here in the back bedroom, I didn't turn on all the lights, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Queen Island bed, east-west bed. I like the uh, faux tray ceilings. It's got double ducted roof air. It's got another DVD VCR in case you ever want to have a retro movie night and uh, original TV so everything fits perfectly. Which I like them like that, guys. Of course, I'm not a big TV fan anyway when I'm camping, but there's nothing wrong with it if you are. Big deep closet storage. Uh, and here, it's like you got a cushion. That must be for the table, I guess. Huh. And of course, new closet in here, or new, not a new closet, but new carpet in here. Books and manuals are right here too, by the way. So you got all that stuff. Solid sliding doors for privacy. Huh. Not bad for the money, guys. It's 49.9. Now I know the miles 
may bother some of you guys, but any of you who know anything about diesels know that's nothing to worry about. Um, and, uh, you know, the windows, again, no nothing to worry about. I mean, most of y'all leave you blinds down anyway, so I am going to try to get that first window replaced um, where it's a little cloudy so you can see out your mirror. Um, and it's certainly not so bad that you can't see out. But, you know, I always, you know, I, I do try to do the one on the front in the cab area for you. That way, you know, I don't want you to get in an accident. Either. I don't have to, but I do anyway. So I am going to do that, guys. Um, let my last guy know about it so he can plan ahead. But this unit's 49.9, haggle-free firm. And um, if it's something you think you're interested in, pick up a phone, give us a call, 706-965-7929. You know, again, at that price, guys, we do what we call our basic inspection, which is we make sure generator works, we make sure both air conditioners are cold on the roof, we make sure refrigerator freezer gets to operating temp, and we make sure slide outs work. And of course, riding and drive, it rides and drives like it's supposed to, guys, um, as far as a ride and drive. And if this is something you think you're interested in for $49.9, which, guys, there's not much out there for this price with four slides and full body paint. And don't let that those miles scare you guys. Come look at it. We did just put new carpet in here. That's going to save you about twelve, thirteen hundred bucks uh, from doing that. Um, uh, we're going to fix that window. That'll save you a few hundred bucks. You know, and we're doing all of this for the forty nine nine price. So uh, just put you this new chair in. That was a few hundred bucks. Um, so I mean, even though we don't do the full complete four page checkout like we used to anymore. We're still doing a lot of the things that other dealers don't do to make them really nice for you. And, uh, of course, guys, you know, keep in mind, I mean, come down and look at this unit if you can. Do your own inspection on it because beyond turning on a few lights and those things that I mentioned that we guarantee, I don't know what works on this thing, what doesn't. Uh, that's why we're selling them as is and because I've got one tech left, and it's all he can do to go through the ones that are still in service. So, um, you know, come out and take a look at it. I've got everything priced to sell this way. You know, this unit under the old way would be 54.9, maybe 56.9 if it had a full inspection on it. But again, guys, and then you'd have to wait two or three months to get it um, after you bought it. And that's why we're getting away from that, guys. And yeah, we're going to go back to it, of course, but we, we got to get more help and get caught up more before we do that. So. For now, we're still doing the basic checks, but guys, I've got it priced accordingly. $49.9, a heck of a deal for an 06 39 l Discovery, full body paint. I've showed you the good about it. I've showed you the bads. You know, I, that's something kind of makes me different from everybody else because A, I review used RVs, and B, I point out the flaws because there's no such thing as a like new used RV. I don't care how good somebody talks something up nothing is ever like new it's either used or new and used you're going to have cosmetic issues that's part of it guys you know you look at what this thing costs new in 06 to what it costs now i tell you that but like i said i'm doing this very quickly i hadn't even done any research on it and look what a 2022 model costs now then how long you have to wait to get that 2022 compared to what this one costs now and this will do everything a brand new one will do and save you probably and and you can buy it for one fifth the price <laughs> so uh you know just put a pencil to that i don't know about you but when i can save probably a couple hundred grand off what a new one costs now to what this one costs now i can deal with a couple of cloudy windows and uh and a little spot here and there guys i mean that's that's just part of buying used but look how much money you're saving. I mean, that, that's a ton of money you're saving that somebody else already took the hit. So anyway, if this is something you think you're interested in, give us a call. Of course, RV inspectors always welcome. Um, you know, if you want to send a third party down here to inspect it, we've got no problem with that. Most dealers will tell you no, but we, we have no problem with it, guys. I'd rather you be sure because, like I said, we're not doing the full inspection. So besides those things that we guarantee to work, you know, uh, we don't know what else it could need. That's why it's always best to come look at it yourself, come test drive it. We do test drives Monday through Friday only, of course. We don't do Saturday test drives. We're closed on Sundays. But anyway, guys, 
just a real quick video. I'm going to cut it short because I got to edit it and I don't want to be here all night. I'd like to see my little girl before she goes to bed at 8 o'clock. So, um, thank y'all again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, we may have some financing on this one. I'm not sure how it would work with an 06 with 135,000 miles. Ask your salesperson to see if we have anything available for financing on this coach. Uh, number is 706-965-7929. Please call before coming to look to verify availability. Um, thank you to my 30,000 plus subscribers, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button. Feel free to smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the RV. Make sure you uh, comment, share on social media, tell your friends about us and family and, and people at the campground if you're a current RV owner. Because, guys... I keep it real. I tell it like it is. And, uh, you know, we sell five or 600 used RVs a year to people all over the country because of our prices and our, our straightforward, no holds barred way of selling. This is what it is. It's a haggle free firm price. Not going to take a penny less for it. This is what it is. Here's what, here's what we guarantee. Here's what we see that's wrong with it. You want it or not? <laughs> that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys <laughs> we don't nickel and dime you to death you know other rv dealers charge thousands of dollars in fees we don't other rv dealers won't even let you look at their inventory unescorted we do we let you look come out here and look browse all the thing we ask is that uh just don't do anything with them as far as you know cranking them up or climbing on roofs or sliding rooms in or out or anything like that without a salesperson present um you know, all we ask you to do if you're out here unescorted is just walk through them, open the bathroom doors, look inside. If you want to do more than that, just 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 holler at a salesperson and they'll come out there and and help you with it. And all the reason we're doing that, guys, because we have had a lot of damage. I had a really nice Mercedes motorhome out here, and the way the hoods work on the Mercedes, they don't have a a traditional rod that that you pick up and put on your hood. It's got a locking hood mechanism that when you open it up it locks in place well a customer unescorted opens that hood it locks into place and you have to reach under there and hit the release the release on the on the hinge of course you don't know how to do that you're not going to do it he bent that hood almost in half trying to close it um and got in his car him and his wife got in their vehicle and drove off twenty five hundred dollar hood plus a week and a half in the paint shop in a body shop getting it replaced and painted to match we just had to eat it guys so all the thing we ask you to do if you want to do like pop hoods and all that just to keep a misunderstanding like that from happening just to add one of our just all you got to do guys look at it. if you see one you want to proceed and look at closer call your salesperson or go in the showroom ask for them and they will come out with you and show you anything you want to see and, and just to make sure that nothing gets broken. And I know that 99% of y'all know better than to do that, but unfortunately, guys, that one person out of 100 messes it up for everybody. So we're still going to let you look unescorted, though. Don't worry about that. All we ask you to do is just don't turn any batteries on, lights on, or hoods, or crank motors up, or generators, or put out all. I mean, just, just basically walk through them. If you like it and you want to go further, just get somebody to help you. Um, and I think that's fair since most other dealerships don't even let you do that um, at all. They, they won't even let you look at in inventory at all without uh, without you sitting across from a salesperson for 10 minutes getting interrogated. And they get all your personal information and then they just show you what they want you to look at instead of what you want to look at, which is very common. Um we don't do that here, guys. We don't charge fees. You know, other dealerships may advertise a certain price, but your out-the-door price can be ten, fifteen thousand dollars higher than that, because they add dock fees, prep fees, processing fees, happy camper fees, freight fees, whatever name they can come up with, guys, and they can charge you for. They charge it, and those fees are all 100% dealer profit. At Parkway RV Center, 53 years in business, we never charge a fee. And if you are a Georgia resident, though, we do have to charge what the state makes us charge, which is applicable sales tax. We have to charge a $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee to Georgia residents only. Out of state doesn't pay that. 
Uh, now, some cases you may have to pay us the sales tax, depends on if you're out of state, depends on how you pay for it and what state you live in. Every state's, and it's aggravating, guys, because there's 50 states and every one of them's got different laws when it comes to buying vehicles out of state. And it's, <laughs> it's aggravating because <laughs> some of them are really strange. Um, <laughs> but, um, and if you got questions about that, all you got to do is pick a phone, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Tell us how you're paying for it, what state you live in. We'll give you an out-the-door price, guys, and uh, make it easy on you. And uh, this is something you think you're interested in, guys. Like I said, our phone number, just call us, stop by and see us. I don't know why he put 300 horse motor. It's got a 330, and I know for a fact it's a 330, so don't worry about that. It is a 330, 860 pound feet of torque, 330 horse, which will run this thing up the road as fast as you want to take a vehicle this size. But thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. And um, I'm going to cut the video off so I can get it edited, get it online, and get home at a decent hour. But thanks again. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are interested in it, I highly advise you to call us first thing in the morning. I don't look for this one to be on the market very long. 706-965-7929. As always, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like my Facebook page, RVs with Big Bo. Um, YouTube, RVs with Big Bo, obviously, or you can search Big Bo or Parkway RV Center. It should pop right up. Uh, but thank you again for watching, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.